every 10 minutes for the past two weeks, there has been something where it's like, no, it's all over. I'm not gonna make it to Gatlinburg. Every 10 minutes. <laughs> Van right there. Scott. Phone calls coming yesterday at all. Which what number? The number that was sent over looks like it was two four eight seven two. I'm trying to find one first. That's me fucked then. About the biggest thing that I use right now would be something like one of the Nissan Murano's. What is it? Something like that right there. Oh no, yeah, I can't, I wouldn't even be able to fit a quarter of the stuff I need to in that. That's that's the biggest thing that I've got. Seats like fold, or if they could, like are there's like a they, you back over here. Them. Oh, yeah. the ones back here they've got kind of like um pin kind of things that kind of okay. come out. The big thing is just you know when you bring it back, make sure that you know. Cool. These motherfuckers called said they called me yesterday uh, multiple times to tell me they didn't have a van. I didn't get a single fucking phone call lion asses and then they give me this fuck they're like we don't have anything I'm like yes the fuck you do <laughs> god damn uh all right let's go so my truck took a shit two weeks ago and i've been trying to diagnose what's wrong with it it's at a shop now they figured out that it's a high pressure oil pump I just spent three thousand dollars to fix it it is not here, so I can't take it to Gatlinburg, so I had to spend more money to get a van, of which they didn't have, and so I had to like basically cuss them out to get this thing, and now we have to figure out how to remove the fucking seats from it, so. There's always something with this trip. I got a free belt, though. <laughs> Every 10 minutes, Every 10 minutes for the past two weeks, there has been something where it's like, no, it's all over. I'm not gonna make it to Gatlinburg. Every 10 minutes, I swear to God, I walk into the rental place. I go, hey, we don't have a van. Fuck, it's all over. Hey, we have a van, but you can't take the seats out. Fuck, it's all over. Definitely gonna make a fucking mess. Hi, you've reached LEB Automotive. Please leave your message after the tone. So, right now we are driving through Atlanta. Uh, we're driving about an hour south of the city. Um, with my truck being broken and me stuck at home for the past two weeks, um, it's kind of slowed things down. And all of my merchandise for this weekend is coming late and so i have to go pick everything up in person instead of getting it shipped to me um, so we're driving about six hours round trip today to go pick everything up in preparation for gatlinburg this weekend um, it's the biggest show of the year for me and there should be thousands of people from all over the country um, but there's a lot of stress and anxiety leading up to it i really haven't slept um, but is what it is <laughs> God, so tired. That was such a long drive. It's my first time seeing the Gatlinburg designs in person, so I'm super excited to see these uh, these hoodies in particular. This one I'm excited to see right here. These, dude. Every single time I pick these hoodies up, I forget how so, like heavy they are. Trying to load those things, where I'm talking about like shoulders. Yeah. Like it wears you out. I was gonna say my favorite thing is that I don't have to ship them because I don't I don't want like, to. But you would have to be priority. 
for one. God sure. damn. But yeah, so okay. sick. They're extremely heavy. Yeah, I'm stoked on that. But they print really well. Like, they really do. Hard, like, it's because it's so thick. Like it takes to the so color really well. Part. Up close, some detail on that. It's fucking. The grain of these hoodies goes like the opposite direction. Oh, it's to, the same color as car. Yeah, that was why it works because the oh. actual color of the car is pink. Yeah, I'm excited about those. Little elasticated sides on them and shit. Yeah, these these came out. These came out super sick. I'm like pumped this. on those. Those are probably my favorite. I think it was one of the, my favorites you've done so far. Really? I just like the, I like, you don't do many colors. Yeah, like the, the, yel the yellow is good. You I did, did, uh. You did the red the first year we were doing stuff, and then you switched to the gold. Yeah. I like the gold, but. I did, I did Gatlinburg shirts two or three years ago that were the same as this, and I wanted to, like, throw it back to that, because yeah. this, like just this colorway is super good. Yep. You have the VIP mod. Oh, yeah, that's VIP these ones. I'm stoked on these. Dude, they, uh. They're shipping my wheels out right now. Like, I wasn't planning to have them at the show, but they're like, hey, we want you to, like, unveil them there. So I was like, oh, sick. So, that, yeah, they're shipping those out to me, which will be cool. I can actually take these with me. Nice. We, we got to talk soon about plans for the new year because, like I was mentioned to you before, I think I want to switch some stuff up and maybe um, I think I'm going to plan on doing more online stuff and I would like to work on doing more like limited drops where every month, you know, I'll announce like the, the date of a drop. Maybe it could be like the 30th of the month and the whole month long, I'm just making videos and promoting that, hey, it's the 30th, this is the drop. You can go to the website and see everything, but you can't buy it until that day. Everything with shop. supply has sucked. I was, shirts are awful right now. I was bummed that those, those jackets, they're discontinuing the green. Are they still making the tan ones? That's yeah, that. So that was, I want to make there sure. Two colors that were showing up as being discontinued. Was, okay, uh, the green and the red. I can't remember. Probably. Maybe I, I think I texted them both. Of you, so. Okay, dude. Everybody in the car scene loves those jackets. The the tan windbreakers. I'm only doing those for Riverside every year. Yeah. Like I'm just making it a thing where it's a tradition. And I, I have people asking me all year round. They're like, dude, make more tan windbreakers. And I'm like, no, I'm just doing them at Riverside. And then when Riverside rolls around, there's just so many people just I like them. they I, they I really love can. them. So. I think that that's going to be a thing, and then if they continue doing Gallenberg, I think I'm going to keep doing the the pink hoodies, just to keep it a tradition. And yeah. I don't even so like I don't like how Champion fits. Southern Fresh. People buy it because it has the Champion logo yeah. on it. I'm like, I don't care if it doesn't fit right. I don't want Some it. Some of the blanks. Oh, it really does. That's that's the thing. Like I don't ever want to sell anything where it's like somebody grabs it and it's more expensive than it should be, and then yeah. they feel it and they're like, eh, why am I paying this much for it? Yeah. With that, every single time a customer picks it up, they're like. Okay, yeah, it's worth the eighty dollars. Like yeah. this feels exactly as an eighty dollar hoodie should. I mean, some people will pick it up and be like, "Dude, I'd pay a hundred bucks for this." And they do from other companies. Potentially, I'm I'm working into getting into hosting car shows. That's kind of my next step. Is once essentially being like a Riverside. Yeah, that that's what I want to do, and I don't I don't care for it to be like a super profitable thing. I'm just trying to do like a really good event, just how Riverside is. Like yeah. it's it's all about putting on the best show. Um, so that's. Kind of where I'm headed with stuff. I'm hoping like sometime in the next year or two, I'll actually like do something. That'd be perfect. I know, I know a lot of people in the car community to prefer to have like some of the stiffer, more boxier shirts yeah. that are heavy. But I'm just not a fan because after you wash them a couple of times, they, they like just props. they yeah they're like, they're like cardboard, shirts, dude. They literally, are so stiff after you wash them. You yeah. Stand to wear them. And I love these. Like these really don't shrink unless you wash it wash them on hot. Sweet. Yeah, well, I got this shit loaded up. <laughs> Too much driving today. I gotta drive. Here. I got is, is it Gallenberg event? Yeah, yeah, it's slamming off Gallenberg this weekend. It's biggest event of the year for me, easily. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, with everything that I have. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. Let's see if I can get that uh, room up there. Why do you wanna? Do you wanna keep these uh, in the back? It really doesn't matter, doesn't matter too much. I'll have to reorganize stuff anyway. Like everything's gonna come back out. So boxes. Hopefully soon, because Gallenberg's, I think, like, this is the last event that I'm actually going to really focus on. I may do some, like, local stuff, but uh, this is my last, like, major event, and I think I'll f after I get done or I get back from SEMA, I'm going to really sit down and start planning out the business model for the new year and just figuring out, like, the structure of it. And that 
probably in November, December time would be a good time to talk to you about kind of gotcha. plans I, moving forward. I got forward. a lot of changes I want to make. And... I appreciate yep. you. Um, I'll, I'll let you know how the weekend goes and we'll, yeah, uh, we'll speak soon. All right, so another two hours across the city in traffic. I'm so tired. I got like maybe three hours of sleep last night. That's probably how it's going to go all weekend. But I'm driving to my friend's parents' house, or actually my, my roommate Matt's parents' house to pick up his toolbox so that he can sell it to use the money to pick up a car this weekend. Um, it's super out of the way, but like he's not going to be able to come and get it, and I really want him to get this car. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and do that for him. Um, but God damn, I'm ready to go home. And we, we still have to get home and fold and organize all of these shirts and then package like, I think like 200 orders. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yeah, it's real fucking heavy. <laughs> Bro, I hate this. We look really sus right now. <laughs> We're just like in a random nice neighborhood. Dude, it was unlocked. Why do I need the key? We're in a nice random neighborhood. Just like pulled a big ass white van up here and just walked around the back and just started taking stuff. I hate this. Yeah, dude. It's not sus, because we're, we're filming. It's like, somebody's like, hey, what are you doing over there? Are you stealing? We're like, dog, I'm recording myself. Do you really think I would be stealing? <laughs> like, I don't know, man, that might be a tactic. I'm like, you're onto something there. It is actually a tactic. If you film yourself, it doesn't look sus. If you wear high-vis jackets, if I wear a bright yellow jacket, I can go in anybody's house I please. I'm just working, dude. And really, I'm like stealing PS5s and shit. Matt, how many infinity badges do you need? I picked up like six of these. Oh my God, I gotta pee so bad. I've drank like so much coffee and liquids today. It's brewing. It's not the only thing that's brewing too. It's getting dangerous out here. I'm about, about to like take a shit in, in the backyard. <laughs> Fucking go home and it like turns out that his parents have like security cameras or some shit and they're just like hey why did your friend shit in our yard <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about man that was that was bean dude I didn't do that <laughs> ooh that's a cash rebate Chick-fil-A honey mustard Chick -fil -A. it's a one dollar coin <laughs> hell yeah, yeah. go mm -hmm. put that in your pocket on video cheers Matt I might shit myself. That is that is like a genuine concern of mine right now. Like if I if I try to exert too much strength, I will, I will literally shit myself on camera. <laughs> I need a forklift and a diaper, like ASAP. Me? I didn't think this was gonna be that difficult. Hey, you can go grab a toolbox. I'm like, yeah, that's no problem. What is it stuck on? Oh, okay. I see it. Hold on. There it goes. <sighs> no shit has been spilled. Bro, when I get home, I'm gonna back up really fast Put and this. just open the doors and let it roll. <laughs> it's a few hours later. We just got home. It's time to try and... More like 10 hours later. It feels like it was 10 hours later, but yeah. <laughs> Dude, everything is broken. Don't worry about it. Hopefully this thing comes out a little bit easier than it went in. Um, I didn't shit myself, but I did, I did poop after that. Desperately needed that. Oh my God, it's so fucking got it, heavy. I got it, I got it. You got it? I can see my foot's about to start slipping. Good? Perfect. Perfect. None of them are actually jerseys. They're all just, I was gonna say, they're all just random boxes. I hate that, like sometimes they'll be in like, Gildan boxes, and I would hate for anybody to think that I would ever use Gildan. Fuck no, dude, I would never touch that shit. It's garbage. Can I gently place this on the ground? You can throw it. You're not allowed to gently place that. Why would you do that? What I always do to fold these um, is like... You oh, just leave them like that? You just pick them up like this so the back is facing. You do one of those so you fold both sides so in. You're folding it the graphic. Yeah, so you can see the graphic. And you fold it over one time like that. Which is why I, w I always do it on the table, which just makes it a little quicker. Fold it over one time like that, and then you just fold it again so that you have like a half fold. So half fold. And we'll probably fill all of the drawers up pretty quick.
So I am packaging all of the Hold, please. I'm packaging all of the Gatlinburg shirts that got pre-ordered and are for pickup at the show. And I just realized that I had like four bags left, like four shipping bags that I actually used for shirts. And then all I had left was hoodie bags, which were way too big. But then I did just find I have these slightly smaller shirt bag. So I apologize if you picked up your shirt from the show and it is in a horrible bag. It, this is how things go. I'm not prepared for this. I really should have, because I knew the event was coming up and I wasn't shipping that much stuff. I didn't think about buying new bags, but fucked up on that. Shout out to LeVar Coulter. I actually know who that is. We're shooting his car this weekend, but thanks for buying a shirt. Appreciate you. Thanks everybody for buying a shirt. You make all of this possible. You make all of my mistakes possible. Thank you guys. <laughs> so these are the Gallenberg shirts, obviously just a black shirt. Um, it's kind of a throwback to one that I did a couple of years ago where it had the, uh, the yellow with the bold white. Definitely a cool design. Super stoked on these. These may end up being sold out by the time you see this video too. It's kind of just what happens with some of these designs. So in future, if you are coming out to one of these shows or you're on my mailing list, that can get you early access to some of this stuff. Um, but a lot of the times, all of this hard work goes towards all of this stuff selling out, which is fantastic news for me. And obviously if you guys want to grab some of this stuff in the future, you just gotta be really quick. Um, but other stuff, there's one more shirt that's like kind of a secret that isn't out yet, which it will it will be out by the time you see this video because I revealing my new wheels this weekend and here, grab one of these jumps. So my new collaboration t-shirt with VIP modular. Sorry, it's a little bit creased because we just folded it, but these are my new wheels on a shirt. This is a collab tee with VIP Modular. Um, these should be available on the website right now. If they are not, it's because they sold out really quickly and this is a limited run. So if they're sold out, they're gone, but there's gonna be more collab shirts coming with VIP Modular very, very soon. Um, not sure when, it's probably gonna be when the car is done so that we can do a different design with the car on it, but yeah. Cool shirt, very bold. Um, and then the rest of the stuff that I have is like the snake logo shirt um, in black and white. And then I have the big lips, thick chicks shirt. And we have stickers and other stuff as well. But anyways, guys, I'm not gonna drag this on. We're extremely tired and just ready to go to bed. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it gave a little bit more perspective as to what goes on behind the scenes leading up to one of these events, um, some of the mishaps that happen leading up to these events. Bean has made a great point that LEP should be called Liam Isles predicaments um, because this is just, like I said in the start of the video, every 10 minutes there is something that happens that is like, oh shit, I'm probably not gonna make it anymore. And this is, this is not just this show, this is like every show. So I want you guys to kind of like see and understand how much work goes into this stuff. And I literally pour my heart and soul into this as well as all of my money. Like I may like sell a lot of stuff, but I promise you all of this money goes like right back into it. I am in no way making bank off of this shit. I'm just doing it because I love it and I hope that it'll grow into something bigger, but I appreciate you guys for supporting me always. And if you guys want to go grab shirts, the website is in the top of the description. We'll see you in Gatlinburg this week, which we won't, but you'll see the videos after this. Appreciate you guys. Thanks clean for filming. We'll see you soon. <laughs>